America, get ready for the transformations of a lifetime. Michael, Ashley, Coley, and Darris may have started the season looking like this. But tonight, the changes they have made are spectacular. And it's all happening live! <laughs> Live from Hollywood, it's the biggest loser finale. Here's Allison Sweeney. Welcome, everyone. This season, 22 contestants started this competition as 11 teams. They included parents and their children, husbands and wives, twin brothers and cousins. Tonight, one player will win a quarter of a million dollars and the title of The Biggest Loser. They all endured an epic journey that began before they even set foot on campus. Eight months ago, 22 people stepped on a scale in their hometowns and each made one promise. I will do everything I can to make you proud, and I will make myself proud too. And I'm gonna make this right for my family and friends. I'm gonna promise that it's gonna change for good. I promise every single one of you that it's game time. Oh. And I'm gonna be the next biggest loser. And those promises were fulfilled. But keeping those promises came at a heavy price. Right! Oh, oh, hit it! Oh, I know it hurts. It's not a joke here. Get back up. Go, woman. Fight, fight. Come on, go! Get up. You cannot cry right now. Oh, yes. oh. Through this journey, the contestants learned that one promise can go a long way. I mean, what happens if I go in there and I can't do it? Start walking, Ashley. But what if you go in there and you can't? Run, Ashley, run! Over 2,500 pounds have been lost, and it's come down to the final four. Michael, who at 526 pounds, was the heaviest contestant ever to set foot on the ranch. I would never even think of my worst nightmares that I would be this big. I got such a long way to go. Ashley, a daughter who has always dreamed of making her father proud. He always wanted me to be healthy. So for me to finally have conquered this would mean a lot. Garris, a 25-year-old who has never had a girlfriend. I'm always the entertainer, make people laugh, but I'm always the guy that goes home alone. And Coley, who at over 400 pounds never believed he would find love. Because I never, ever thought anybody could really seriously love a 400-pound man. That's why I'm here. In their last week on campus, the heaviest man and the heaviest woman secured their place in the final three. With one spot left, America had to vote between Darius and Coley. Tonight, one person will go beyond their promise and win a quarter of a million dollars and take on the title of the biggest loser. Our contestants have, a long, have come a long way, but there is still one more step they have to take.
Tonight, 19 eliminated players will face the scale for a chance to win the $100,000 at-home prize. Then our three finalists will weigh in for the YoPlay Lite grand prize of a quarter of a million dollars and the title of the biggest loser. We already know who two of the finalists are, Ashley and Michael. It is time to find out who will join them. At our last weigh-in, Darius and Coley fell below the yellow line, and we asked you, America, to decide which one of them should be our third finalist. But before I reveal who you voted for, are you ready to see what they look like now? Yeah! Okay. Okay, well, let's get to it. Before he came to campus, Darius had never had a girlfriend. In fact, he'd never even been kissed. Well, now I think he's going to make out all right. Feast your eyes on the new Darius! smile on your face. Look at him. <laughs> okay, well, last week when we saw you, you struggled. You struggled getting ready for a marathon, which, by the way, you killed in four hours. What did you do this, this, differently this time going home, getting ready for tonight? I just had to realize that, you know, my stress eating at night, I had to figure out what was doing that. And, you know, sometimes it's just figuring out how to deal with my stress differently and also how to manage my time. Because if you eat dinner at 5.30 and you stay up till 3 in the morning, you're going to get hungry. Well, you got, you got something else different to share with us, um, a little change update in your love life. <laughs> Tell us about that. Oh, come on! She's out here somewhere. Where is she? Point her out. Right there. It's my girlfriend, Heather. And she's beautiful. Are you happy? Are you happy? I'm very happy, yes. That's what we love to see, Darius. Well, we've got to see who you're up against tonight, too. A high school football coach. He started out at 403 pounds. Tonight, he looks like a total player. Here's Coley. <laughs> This night, this moment, we talked about the confetti, but I know it's not just about that for you. Tell me what you're feeling. Uh, it's, it's been a long journey. I mean, for me, my personal story has been like, you know, before the ranch, before the show, I, I didn't know who I was. I had no self-worth. Didn't value myself one bit, you know. And to go through this journey and to find out who I am and to be proud of myself and to know that I did everything I could to this day to be here. And just to check the record stage. You said people misunderstand your confidence. I want to hear you say it. Huh? Sorry? You said people misunderstand your confidence. Yeah, I mean, don't, don't mistake my, my, my confidence, my swagger for being cocky, you know? Um, Coley, you earned that swagger. And we're going to find out, because only one of you can join Ashley and Michael in the final three and have a shot at a quarter of a million dollars and the title of The Biggest Loser. I have the results of America's vote right here. And we'll reveal them right after we return. Coming up, a former player returns to face the scale and win $1,000 for every pound she's lost. Welcome back to the season finale of The Biggest Loser. 
three finalists will compete for the title of the biggest loser and the Yo Play Light Grand Prize of a quarter of a million dollars. We already know two of them, Ashley and Michael. Now it is time to find out whom America chose as our third finalist. Millions of people weighed in, and the winner of America's vote is... The winner of America's vote is Darius. Congratulations, Darius. You are our final member of the final three. And Coley, you are still in it. You got $100,000 at stake. You are still in it for the at-home prize. I'm going to send you both back to get ready for your weigh-in. Go on back, guys. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts of every finale. It's seeing all former players. But tonight, we are joined by previous winners. So everybody, please give a round of applause for Danny, Bill, Eric. Eric, stand up for me. Get Eric up. Eric struggled after leaving the show, but he put most of the weight back on, and now he spent some time at the Biggest Resort. Resort. He has lost over 150 pounds since he started. Eric, thank you. All of you, you look great. Keep it up. We're so proud to have you part of our family. We have another former player joining us tonight. Last season when she began, she weighed 476 pounds, which makes her the heaviest woman in Biggest Loser history. The people at Subway offered her $1,000 for every pound she lost between the last finale and tonight. Now she's here to find out how much she's won. Say hello to Shay. <laughs> Five months have been phenomenal. I mean, this journey is like no other, and there's nothing that I can be more proud of than to stand here and to feel this way and to be a healthier and happier me. It's, I mean, it's been tremendous and life changing, and I have nothing but the future ahead of me. That is absolutely true, and we can't wait to see how much money you won. So, why don't you get Neither on that scale? I. I mean, let's be honest, let's get to it. All right, Shay. At the last finale, you weighed 304 pounds. Your current weight is... <laughs> 252, you lost 52 pounds! Shay, come on down! You have won 52 You with the check. Jared, the biggest loser of Subway, is here. Well, Shay, you look fantastic. You're doing great. I know how hard it is, person, to lose weight and keep it off. And uh, you've just done an amazing job. You're such an inspiration to so many people. And so, on behalf of Subway, uh, everybody at Subway, we'd like to present you with this, with this big check. But we're leaving it intentionally <laughs> blank. Intentionally blank for a reason. And that's because we have a new challenge for you we'd oh, like gosh. to present. <laughs> Did you think you were done with us, Shay? You're not done yet, absolutely. What we would like to do, if you'll take this challenge with me, I'll be there right with you this year, to have you train really hard this year, and you and I together are going to complete a marathon. At the end of this year, we're going to double this check. Double oh this check God. for you. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yes, I'm in. in. That's fantastic. <laughs> And to, make sure, and to make sure we get you on your journey the proper way, our friends at Subway, of course, want to provide you with free Subway breakfast and free Subway lunch to get you on that training program just like I'm doing myself. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Shay, I would like to also announce that since you started The Biggest Loser, you have lost 224 pounds. Rooting for you at that marathon. We are so Thank proud you. to be a part of your life. Thank you, Shay. Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Congratulations to both of you. Now, 19 eliminated contestants are here tonight, and one of them will win $100,000. Are you ready to see the first four? Say hello to mother and daughter 
team, Sharita. Phenomenal. Thank you. you all look great. So beautiful. Maria, you were on campus for two weeks. I have to have you go back and get changed and get ready for your weigh-in. But I, you look lovely, and obviously the crowd agrees with me. So go on back and get ready. Our first four eliminated players will weigh in right after this. The Biggest Loser is live from Hollywood. And later, Jillian gives us a sneak peek at her brand new show. The Biggest Loser Finale is back, live from Hollywood. Welcome back, everyone. Our first four eliminated players are about to step on the scale for a chance to win $100,000. First, we have to bring out the two people who played a major role in helping all of our contestants, our trainers, Bob and Jillian. <laughs> Like one moment that defines the season for you. Wow. Um, for me, it was being with Maria in the pool and helping the contestants confront their fears and overcome them. I really think that embodies what The Biggest Loser is all about. Bob, you have someone that stands out, something in particular? It has to be O'Neal. Climbing those stairs was honestly a moment that will stand out for me forever. O'Neal wa nail walking up those stairs. I mean, you know, it's like we deal with people that are just, we're having them run, they're going crazy. And I was like, I wanted O'Neal to gain control of his body. I was like, you are walking up those stairs like everybody else in the Biggest Loser house. And he did. And didn't you guys love that moment? I mean, wasn't that amazing? Well, now we need to get to the weigh-ins. Sharita, Victoria, Sherry, and Maria, you are the first four eliminated players to weigh in. And remember, it is not just about the pounds that you have lost. The person who's going to win the $100,000 at-home prize is the person with the highest percentage of weight loss. This is it. Are you ready? All right, Sharita, we're going to have you start off at the first challenge. Sharita failed to earn a spot on campus because her body gave out, but it definitely wasn't because she gave up. So let's watch. Good job, Hans. Push. Oh, I can't go more. I'm fighting for my life. I cannot give up. Stop, stop. Okay, that's it, that's it. No, I can't stop! I can't stop! All right, Sharita. It is time for you to step on that scale. When you started this competition, you weighed 277 pounds. You did it entirely on your own. Yes, I did. Your current weight is... One eighty-six. You lost ninety-one pounds. Come down here, Sharita. Your total percentage of weight loss is thirty-two point eight five percent. Sharita, that is an amazing. 
amazing start. And you must be so proud of having accomplished all of this at home. And now we're going to see how your daughter did. Yes. Victoria earned a spot on the ranch thanks in large part to her mom, but also she got some motherly advice from Jillian to realize she was worth it. Where else have you felt not good enough in your life? In friendships, in being a daughter. Why don't you feel like a good enough daughter? Because I feel like my parents should have a more beautiful child. I'm telling you right now, you're as deserving and as beautiful as anyone else on the planet. And standing here, I'm here to tell you that you are beautiful, Victoria, Absolutely. inside and out. And it is your turn to get on the scale. Victoria, if you want to beat your mom, have a chance at $100,000, you need to have lost more than 117 pounds. When you started this competition, you weighed 358 pounds. Victoria, your current weight is? Two twenty-two. You lost one hundred thirty-six pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of thirty-seven point nine nine percent. Victoria, you are our current leader. Congratulations! You did amazing. As long as you have the highest percentage of weight loss, you will hold on to this lead. And uh, we need to weigh in the next person. All right, up next is Sherry, a widow at 51. Sherry had written off all hopes of finding happiness again. Now she's ready for the next chapter in her life. You know, it's been 11 years since Ken died. And I think I've, somewhere along the way, I've lost myself. I wish you were here to experience it with me, but I know you're watching with pride. You taught me that life isn't about what place you come in or even your destination. It's truly about the journey. And I can't wait to see what the next chapter of my life entails. I love you always, Sherry. It's your turn to get on the scale, Sherry. Your starting weight was 218 pounds. To take the lead from Sherita, you need to have lost more than 82 pounds. Sherry, your current weight is? 119 pounds. You lost 99 pounds, Sherry, for a total percentage of weight loss of 45.1%. All right, go join your mom, Sherry. You are And now we have to find out how long you can hang on to it because you have definitely set a high bar for everyone. But next, we got to weigh in Maria. Maria arrived on campus with a debilitating fear of water. But thanks to Jillian, she is now swimming with confidence. Win! They're going in the pool. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. It's happening. Ugh, I won't let go. Ugh. But you let go. Ugh, I can't. Do you feel me under you? Ugh. No. Exactly. You're swimming. All the way under the water. Good. And pull and kick. Pull and kick. There's nothing you can't do, buddy. Maria, it is your turn to get on the scale. In order to take the lead from Sherry, you need to have lost more than 127 pounds. Your starting weight was 281. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 167. You lost 114 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 40.57%. Congratulations on everything, Maria. But I gotta tell you, Sherry, you are still holding on to that lead. All right, our first four Eliminate players have weighed in, and now let's bring out four more people who have undergone the change of a lifetime. Everybody, please say hello to mother-daughter team Patty. 
Stephanie, you not only lost weight, you found someone special on the ranch. Tell us about it. Did I did? I came to the ranch with my mom and to get healthy and to start our new life and fell in love with Sam. <laughs> Who didn't? <laughs> well, congratulations to all four of you. We need to get you backstage to change into your weighing clothes. So go for it. Will Sherry, hang on to our lead. A hundred grand is on the line. Transformations continue right after this. We're back with the season finale of The Biggest Loser, live from Hollywood. Tonight, our 19 eliminated players have returned to climb the scale one last time to compete for the $100,000 at home prize. Right now, Sherry is in the lead. But our next four contestants are all set to weigh in. So we're going to start with our next player, Patty. Patty lost her father unexpectedly when he was just 55 years old, and now she's 55 herself, determined to do whatever it takes to avoid the same fate. How old are you? 55. 55 years old. You're not ready to leave this world, are you? No. You're not ready to leave your daughter, are you? No. Are you going to give up on me? No, never. I'll never give up on you, ever. No? Never. Good. I promise. Because then I'll give up on myself That's and I right. don't want it. That's right. <laughs> All right, Patty, it is your turn to get on that scale. Your starting weight was 243 pounds to take the lead from Sherry and have a chance at $100,000, you need to have lost more than 110 pounds. Patty, your current weight is. 170, you lost 73 pounds, Patty. Total percentage of weight loss of 30.04%. Congratulations, but it is not enough to take the lead from Sherry. But next up is Stephanie. We already heard that she found love on campus, but let's take a look at how it happened. I'm turning 30. I've never been in love. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I firmly believe that I was chosen to be on The Biggest Loser to save my mom's life, to save my life, and to meet Sam. I am with the man I love, and I'm with someone who drives and motivates me to become better every day. Stephanie, get on the scale. In order to take the lead from Cher, you need to have lost more than 119 pounds. When you started this competition, Stephanie, you weighed 264 pounds. One last time. Your starting weight is, or your current weight is. One sixty-five. You lost ninety-nine pounds, Stephanie, for a total percentage of weight loss of thirty-seven point five percent. You look fantastic, Stephanie. Congratulations. But you're still doing it, Sherry. Next up, we're going to weigh in James. James joined this competition despite chronic injuries, but he wasn't about to let a little bit of pain sink his chances to get his life back on track. I'm pissed off. Be pissed off. It's okay. 
seeing people run. I'm never going to be able to run. You know what? You're going to be doing the best that you can. I want you down in that pool, and I want you to just not let this get the best of you right now. I'm not giving up. I never will. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Out of hundreds of thousands of submissions into Biggest Loser every season, you know, they picked us. And I'll be damned if I'm going to give up that opportunity. It's just not going to happen. James, it's your turn to get on the scale. When you started this competition, you weighed 485 pounds. To take the lead from Sherry, you need to have lost more than 220. James, your current weight is. Three fifty-seven. You lost one hundred twenty-eight pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of twenty-six point three nine percent. Congratulations, James. One more person in this round. It's John, as a twin and a proud father. John realized it was up to him to stop his family's cycle of tragedy. They're all dead. I'm cursed. <laughs> I felt like I was cursed just from continuing tragedies that seemed to keep happening. You know, my dad died when I was 15. Exactly three months later, my grandma dies. Exactly three months later, my older sister dies. There just always seems to be tragedies surrounding me. Not even my son, but I'm a dad. <laughs> this can all change if you believe that it's possible. Your starting weight was 484 pounds. To beat Sherry, you need to have lost more than 219 pounds. Your current weight is. <laughs> 335, you lost 149 pounds. Total percentage of weight loss of 30.79%. And some bragging rights with your brother, right? Congratulations, John. All right, Sherry. Eight people have weighed in, and you are almost halfway to $100,000. Are you ready to see four more amazing transformations? Say hello to husband and wife team, Melissa. on the ranch, but most importantly, you talked about your new relationship with Lance and your whole family unit. Tell me about that. You know, the biggest loser for us was not about the money. It was about changing our lives. I mean, weight was a huge issue for us, and we went to the biggest loser. We clearly, I mean, look at us. We've changed our lives, and it's made a <laughs> unreal. Is there something in particular as parents that you feel that you are now different role models for your kids? I mean, obviously, it's, we've got to pay it forward to our kids, not only our kids, but the rest of our family and friends as well. I mean, we have, we were the lucky ones. We were fortunate enough to be chosen to be on The Biggest Loser, and now I think we have an obligation to share that with our kids and with our family and friends. Well, thank you, all four of you look fantastic, and we need to get you back in there to uh, get your weighing clothes on, so go ahead and do that. The weighings continue when we return. Later, the amazing transformations of two more finalists, live. The Biggest Loser Finale continues, live. We're back with more weigh-ins as four more eliminated players get ready to climb the scale to compete 
for the $100,000 at home prize. Right now, Sherry is in the lead with a total percentage of weight loss of 45.41%. But there are still plenty of contenders waiting to step on that scale. Next up is Melissa as a lawyer. Melissa had plenty of time on campus to argue her case. Let's watch. <laughs> All I want to do is sit on my butt and eat a cheeseburger. You're not fooling anyone. Do you understand why we're this upset? I, I wanted to eat a know. cheeseburger. Is that's, that's what I think. Why did you make the joke? You said that's not a joke. That's what I've done boss. before. It's not a joke. It's not a joke that's here. That's what I feel like. Don't lie to me. <laughs> All right, Melissa, one last time. It is time for you to get on the scale. Your starting weight was 233 pounds. In order to take the lead from Sherry, you need to have lost more than 105 pounds. You're looking good. Let's see if she did it. Your current weight is. Hi, girl. <laughs> 143. Yes. Nice. You just beat. I love you. I Do love you me. believe me now? You lost 90 pounds. That is fantastic. <laughs> and there you go, Melissa. <laughs> All right. Next, we have to check in with Lance. Most contestants have obstacles to overcome. Lance had one he was determined to get under. <laughs> Time to see how Lance did. Oh, man, it feels great. I mean, I've seen 300. I can't tell you how many times. You got to do what you got to do, and don't worry about the 300 pounds. You know, it, it's, it's all up here. And that's right here. Well, Lance, there's no question that you have heart, but we need to get you on that scale and see how you did. When you started this competition, you weighed 365 pounds. If you want to take the lead from Sherry and have a chance at $100,000, you need to have lost more than 165 pounds. Lance, your current weight is. <laughs> 237, you lost 128. And your total percentage of weight loss is 35.07. Sherry is still in the lead and looking good. I love that smile on her face, but we got to check in with Migdalia. Her take no prisoners attitude helped Migdalia make a life changing breakthrough. Let's watch. Pop it. Don't quit, Migdalia. Hold on. Try now. Turn around and be brave. Why are you not happy? Be brave. I am here to help you. Just wait. Wait. Move. 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 Look, move. I'm here to help you, dude. I move. Just wait. Move. 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 I want to go home. Migdalia, you went home and killed it. We can all see that. So get on that scale. When you started this competition, you weighed 265 pounds. To take the lead from Sherry, you need to have lost more than 120. Your current weight is. <laughs> 213, you lost 52 pounds. Total percentage of weight loss. 19.62%. All right, next we are going to weigh in Miggy. Miggy's fiery personality sparked one amazing transformation. Take a look. We have an intensity with everything we do. Green team, you've done it! That 
We came here to win. The two pound disadvantage we're going to give to the green team. Think you ready to take on that challenge? I'm ready to take on the challenge. We take these two and we'll take two more. Watch. I'm turning it down. Mine over body. I'm doing this. Two. Ah, one. Ah. When you started this competition, you weighed 240 pounds. In order to take the lead from Sherry, you need to have lost more than 108 pounds. Your current weight is. <laughs> 149, you lost 91 pounds, Mickey, for a total percentage of weight loss. 37.9. from Sherry. Red team, green team, that is some pretty stiff competition I'm, I'm and you're still surprised. standing here. I'm, I'm so surprised. They're, they're great. They look great and um, I'm shocked. But I mean, day one, did you ever think you would be standing here more than halfway through no. all your competitors for a chance at 100 grand? No, no one thought the pink team was very strong and kind of counted us out, but uh, we've come back strong. I've said it from the beginning, never underestimate <laughs> a girl in pink. Contestants meet two father daughter teams, O'Neill. I know it. It's a brand new me. I feel so nice now. I, I feel energetic. <laughs> uh, you know, I could not have done that six months ago. I could not have done that. Well, Bob talked about it being one of his favorite moments of the entire season. Sonny, what was it like for you seeing your dad climb those stairs that time, seeing him now? Seeing my dad, it's a completely different person. It's a whole new dad, and I'm so proud of what he's accomplished on the ranch. And every time he goes upstairs, it's a different meaning, and it, it's awesome to see him now. Two dads standing here. What's it like being so proud of your daughters? What's it like seeing this transformation in your daughters, Daryl? I'm going to tell you what. This is the best thing that could ever happen to a dad, to see the transformation and the growth in the women. They, they mean so much to you. This is great. All right, well, we need to get you changed with your weighing clothes. See how you look. Our eliminated players continue their battle for $100,000 in just a moment. And later, three finalists go head-to-head -head in their quest for the title of the biggest loser and a quarter of a million dollars. We're live from Hollywood. We're live in Hollywood with the biggest loser finale. Once again, here's Allison Sweeney. Tonight, three finalists will climb the scale for a chance to win the Yoplait Light, grand prize of a quarter of a million dollars, and the title of the biggest loser. But first, our eliminated players have returned to compete for $100,000. Sherry, you are in the lead. We have seven people left to weigh in. You must be freaking out. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Good. I mean, that's human, right? It's 100 grand on the line. Next up to face the scale is O'Neill. This season, O'Neill proved that some of the greatest accomplishments begin with the smallest steps. At 389 pounds, it was so difficult maneuvering up and down stairs. Remember, keep your abs in strong, shoulders back, okay. slow and controlled. So 
far. You just run up those steps. I'm so proud of you, Dad. I love you. O'Neal, it is time for you to get on that scale one last time. Oh, O'Neal, that is just such an amazing thing to see. You're not just... Uh, Everyone's favorite. You're my favorite. You're, I mean, you're amazing. And we Thank just got to weigh you in one last time. We're so proud. Thank you, guys. You started at 389 pounds. In order to take the lead from Cher, you need to have lost 176. O'Neal, your current weight is? 230. You lost one. Congratulations, O'Neill. All right. You were still holding on to it. And now we're going to see how Sunny did. As the only two overweight people in the family, Sunshine and her father always stood apart. But after coming to campus, she learned to finally stand all on her own. This week, I realized that I am a beautiful person. Like, Dad, I believe it. No, baby. I believe in myself now for the first time. I realize I'm a woman now. I'm 24, and I'm standing on my own two feet for the first time. It's all because of you. Help me get there. Sunshine, time for you to get on the scale. You started this competition at 275 pounds. Sunny to beat Sherry and have a chance at $100,000. You need to have lost more than 124 pounds. Sunny, your current weight is. One sixty-one. You lost one hundred fourteen pounds. Total percentage of weight loss forty-one point four five. Congratulations, Sunny. You look fantastic, and your family is here. Everyone is so proud of everything. The yellow team has been a dream to be a part of. But we have more people to weigh in. Up next is Daryl. Daryl may not have been the heaviest contestant of the season, but no one had bigger health issues to conquer. So take a look. Daryl, you got a lot of competition for sickest man on campus. But you know, I think you might be it. I've just sat back and let things happen for too long. There's things I want to do, things I want to see. You know, being here on the ranch as long as I can be here gives me one more day of life. The quality of my life is so much better now than it was at home. It's all worth it. And on the scale. Daryl, when you started this competition, you weighed 413 pounds in order to take the lead from Sherry and have a chance at $100,000. <laughs> You're going to have to have lost more than 187 pounds. Your current weight is... 224, you lost 189 pounds. <laughs> I mean, we have always said every pound counts, That's but right. you took me literally, didn't you? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, let's find out how your daughter did. Drea's up next. Every contestant had a touching story to tell, but Drea's took on a whole new meaning. I'm in the beginning 
being here, like, I didn't like to touch people because I was 298 pounds and I didn't want them to touch me. And that's changed here. Like, I'm a lovable person. I do want to love people. And I'm able to do that now. Like, that's huge. You fight for yourself. You fight for your place. There's no more skating through life. You got me? Gotcha. Your dad and I are dying to know how you did, so get on that scale. Your starting weight was 298 pounds. In order to take the lead from your dad and have bragging rights at home, as well as a chance at $100,000, you need to have lost more than 136 pounds. Drea, your current weight is... Two hundred fourteen. You lost eighty-four pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of twenty-eight point one nine percent. You look fantastic. Congratulations, Drea. But Daryl, here you are. There are only a couple people left to weigh in. We got three of them. They are here to weigh in, and you have a chance at a hundred thousand dollars. But let's bring out the serious competition. Say hello to Cheryl. that the two of you met on the ranch. Tell me about what your life has been like since then. Where are you guys going from here? Uh, I don't even know what this, how to answer that. Big pictures and bright futures, that's what we say, though. The future seems so bright for both of us, and um, to find love on, on the ranch, to share this journey with my cousin here, greatest thing I've ever done, hands down. Greatest thing of my life. Tell me about watching Darius go through this journey. I couldn't be prouder, and I've watched a boy turn into a man, and he is a man's man. <laughs> I think you have a crowd full of women who agree with you here. All right, Coley, here you are. Chance at 100 grand. What do you think? Feel good. <laughs> I gotta get you guys ready for the weigh-in. Go ahead, head backstage and get dressed. But first, we need to check in with Jillian because she has a new show that's premiering next Tuesday. Jillian, I have to tell you, I've seen the promos. I am so excited to see your new show, but I want you to tell us all about it. Uh, okay, well, basically, I left the ranch and I crisscrossed the country, moved in with families that really needed some help. And I had one week, what takes Bob and I months to do, on The Biggest Loser, and that's give people the tools to change their lives and push the reboot button. Well, you certainly did it, and we can't wait to see it. It premieres next Tuesday, one week from tonight at 10, 9 central. Be sure to tune in, and we're going to take a sneak peek right now. Welcome back to the live Biggest Loser finale. Tonight, three finalists will face off for the title of The Biggest Loser. But first, our eliminated players have returned to climb the scale one last time for a shot at winning the $100,000 at-home prize. Daryl, you're in the lead. There are only three people left to weigh in. What do you think of your competition? I think this might be short-lived. <laughs> <laughs> I but mean, they look good, tough. Though. I'm good. But come on, so do you. Yeah, thank you. No, I feel great. Boys look good. They do look good. <laughs> All right, but so does the girl. Cheryl sure looks pretty good. Yeah. She we knows got a way around that. that. <laughs> a 50 year old mom, Cheryl, was determined to prove to everyone that she's really one tough mother.
dainty and delicate and feminine standing up there. Where did you find that inner beast? It's there. <laughs> Always. It was there all along, I guess. All right, let's get you on that scale. You started this competition at 227 pounds. If you want to take the lead from Daryl, you'll need to have lost more than 103 pounds. Cheryl, your current weight is. One fifty one, you lost seventy six pounds. Congratulations, Cheryl. You have a total percentage of weight loss of thirty three point four eight percent. Two more. That's right. That's one down, two left. You said those boys were gonna be tough. Let's find out. Sam, as a former bouncer, he used to throw people out of bars. Well, this season he threw down in the gym instead. If there's any way that I'll have a chance in that gym, I can't just go in as Sam. I have to imagine myself as something different. I have to go in as a lion. change your life. Jillian, how many people knock the boxing gloves off of your hands in the gym? I, I can't imagine that happens every day. Just Sam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam, let's get you on that scale. When you started this competition, you weighed 372 pounds. In order to take the lead from Daryl and only go up against your cousin for $100,000, you need to have lost more than 170 pounds. Sam. Your current weight is. <laughs> Two thirty, you lost one hundred forty two pounds. Congratulations, your total percentage of weight loss is 38.17. Congratulations, Sam. And it all comes down to one last player. Coley. I like that look. Daryl's like, yeah, bring it. Come on. Come on. Earlier tonight, he missed a chance at the grand prize, but the 100 grand could still be his. He's definitely worked hard to earn it. Most contestants come to campus and start running. Well, Coley came to the ranch and learned to stop. What it's been this last couple of days, I keep fighting the growth that I need to go through because it's too hard. And when it gets too hard, I'm used to running. And I want to run so bad. It's just letting the walls down. Instead of running away, run into it. And let it beat me down so I can come out a better man. Well, Coley, you have definitely accomplished many of the things you set out to do. Let's see if you can do this one, too. In order, it's either going to be you or Daryl. In order to beat Daryl, you need to have lost more than 184 pounds. And we're going to find out if you did it right after this. Later, who will win the quarter of a million dollars? Will it be Michael, Ashley, or Darius? The answer, live from Hollywood. In order to beat Daryl and win the $100,000 at home prize, he's going to need to have lost more than 184 pounds. Now, Daryl, 
You started this competition seven months ago with your daughter, and Dr. H told you that you were the unhealthiest player of the season. And now you're standing here up against Coley for a chance at $100,000. You didn't just win your health back and your life. You have a chance at 100 grand. That's great stuff. That is. <laughs> and Coley, you told me yesterday that when you first started, you didn't care. You know what happened to you next, honestly. Mm -hmm. And there was a moment that trans that changed for you. And now here you are. I bet you care what happens next, don't you? <laughs> Come on, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you do. Come on, what we do? I mean, who here wants Coley to win? <laughs> who wants Daryl to win? <laughs> Either way, I think we're gonna have a very happy crowd. So let's get to it, Coley. When you started this competition, you weighed 403 pounds. Let's get you on that scale one last. Again, in order to beat, you need to, uh, let's hear it. What is it? You need to have lost. Coley, your current weight is. One hundred eighty-four pounds, Coley. One eighty eight, you are two hundred fifteen pounds, Coley. Come on, we get that. I just want to go home. I want to go home with my family. That's all I really want to do right now. That's it. You feel good? I feel great. Congratulations, Thank Coley. You. Thank you. Well, Coley isn't the only one with reason to celebrate tonight. This season, we asked you to make a difference by making a pledge in our pound for pound challenge. For every pound you pledge to lose, a pound, a pound of groceries was delivered to a local Feeding America food bank in your community, and your response has been remarkable. Watch this. The need has never been greater as the journey to end hunger in America continues. In the last year, we've really seen the lines outside the food banks grow longer and longer. People get it, that friends and family and neighbors need help. I am a World War II veteran. If this was gone and without this food, you would see a lot of senior citizens suffering. Here's a glimpse of how many of you have already helped to make a difference. From Biggest Loser contestants... We get to get ourselves healthy and then help people that can't afford to eat. There's no better job than that. To celebrities... This is America. This is what it's all about. People working together of all ages to make a difference. It's, it's just wonderful. To corporations, healthcare facilities, and universities. Even the New Orleans Saints took time out to volunteer before winning this year's Super Bowl. And thanks to those who inspired us with their successful weight loss stories. I was about 425 pounds. Dancing has really helped me trim down to now to 392, thanks to the Pound for Pound Challenge. I weighed 262 pounds. Today, I weigh 148, and this is so energizing and amazing that I could be confident enough to take the challenge myself. I think it's awesome. It just makes you want to get up and go, yes, we can make a difference. Thanks to you, America, over 5.8 million pounds have already been pledged to the Pound for Pound Challenge. Do something good for yourselves and do something good for your community. Go to www.biggestloser.com. Pledge and help feed America. Wow, America, you really stepped up this year with the Pound for Pound Challenge. To celebrate your tremendous efforts, General Mills is announcing tonight that they will donate a can of Progresso soup or green giant vegetables for each pound of weight America pledged. That is 17 million servings of food and counting. And it is not too late for you to get involved in the Pound for Pound Challenge. From now until June 30th, go to BiggestLizard.com, pledge, and help feed America. 
Now, our contestants spent a lot of time with the trainers this season, but they weren't alone. The hilarious characters from the upcoming movie Despicable Me visited the ranch this season. Be sure to catch them on the big screen this summer in 3D. It's the biggest loser finale live from Hollywood. Welcome back to the biggest night of the season. Right now, it's time to bring out the three finalists facing off for the Yo Play Light grand prize of a quarter of a million dollars and the title of The Biggest Loser. You already saw one of them at the beginning of the show. Darius, seven months ago, he was un unhappy and overweight, but by the end of the season, you ran a marathon in like four hours. That had to feel so good. It felt amazing. I mean, I really wanted to do well, and you did. I think I did. <laughs> But tonight you face your toughest competition yet. They started this season as the heaviest man and the heaviest woman. They both made it all the way to the end. Let's see how they look now. She dropped more weight on campus than any woman in Biggest Loser history, and now she's looking to pick up the title. Say hello to the all-new Ashley. <laughs> We've seen it a million times. You fell off the treadmill the first God. day. And then you turned into the pink ninja, like, overnight. <laughs> what happened? You know, in the beginning, I didn't believe in myself at all. And I was like, I'm just going to make it as long as I can. And then all of a sudden, I started believing in myself. And I started noticing I was getting stronger. And I was like, I'm sneaking up. And here I am. Here you are. <laughs> Well, there's just one finalist left. At 526 pounds, he's the biggest player we've ever had. The question is, is he also the biggest loser? Here is Michael. <laughs> on day one and we wondered if we'd pushed it too far or what what you would be capable of and you're capable of the final three you're capable of making it all the way to the end did you believe I I didn't believe it I, I still can't believe it I still can't believe I finished a marathon people <laughs> <laughs> I I knew going onto the ranch that I had to save my life and the only way to do that is to bear all I left everything that I loved, everything that I hated, I had to get over it. And I dedicated myself so much. I had to reach into a place inside of me that I didn't even think existed. And even to this day, I'm st I don't feel like I'm done yet, and I'm going to keep on going, because I know sky's the limit. And you've proven it. Seven months, one of you is about to be crowned the title of the biggest loser and win a quarter of a million dollars. All you have to do is face that scale one more time. Michael, since you were the biggest loser at the ranch, you get to decide the order of tonight's win. What's it going to be? I thought about it, and uh, I thought I'd go from, you know, youngest to oldest. <laughs> Me to being the oldest. <laughs> so we'll start off with Darius, then beautiful Ashley. Right, right. Hey, who's the host of the show here? 
Keep going, and then you, okay? And then I'll be the last all one. All right, all right, go get changed, and we're gonna bring you out for one final weigh in in just a minute. All right, the stage is set. Three finalists, one winner, and a quarter of a million dollars up for grabs. The biggest weigh ins of the night are next. Think you've got what it takes to be a contestant? Log on to NBC.com slash casting to apply. You could be the next biggest loser. We are now down to just three finalists. One of them will win the title of the biggest loser and the Yoplait Light grand prize of a quarter of a million dollars. But now it is time to put them on that scale. Darius is up first. Always the entertainer, Darius realized the one person he wasn't making happy was himself. Now he's enjoying life as a serious contender for the title. My starting weight is 346 pounds. I will do everything I can to make you proud. And I will make myself proud too. I've never had a girlfriend in my entire life. And I want more than anything in the world to have a wife and kids. I know I can change this, and I know it's possible. I just want this so bad. <laughs> because this will jumpstart my life. Three, two, one. Perfect. How in the world did you get to be so overweight with this kind of strength? This kind of determination. Right here. Darius, are you ready to give up? No! Are you ready to give up? Last chance, one down. Two, one. Get back up. Go. That's it. Dead. Dead. I can finish this. I can win this. Take a look at that time, Darius. Four hours. Just so you know, you uh, killed Tara's previous time. <laughs> I'm going to do everything I can. Be number one. Well, Darius, you didn't just make yourself proud. You made all of us proud for being part of this journey with you. Now it is time for you to get on that scale one last time. Remember, it is not just about the pounds that you have lost. It is your total percentage of weight loss that will determine which of the three of you wins the quarter of a million dollar grand prize. Darius, when you started this competition, she's not the only one who thinks that, by the way. Darius, when you started this competition, you weighed 346 pounds. Your current weight is. During the first week of competition, she fell off the treadmill. She's got right back up. And tonight, she is ready to give the boys a run for their money. America, here is Ashley's story. My dad died when I was 16. He always wanted me to be healthy. So for me to finally have conquered this would mean a lot. Ashley, dig in and start walking. <laughs> I mean, what happens if I go in there and I can't do it? But what if you go in there and you can? Ashley, you ready to go home? No. no. I'm learning life goals here that I'm going to take home with me forever. Go. And, you know, you plant the seed and the tree starts to grow, and it's like... Right now, I kind of feel unstoppable. I know Dad would be so proud of you. And don't ever forget that. And how proud I am of you. But most of all, I want you to be proud of yourself. He 
people didn't view me as a threat. They thought I was going to hit the road soon. And that's fine. I'm the pink ninja. You know, I might have started off weak, but I'm definitely strong now. And I'm going to beat these boys. Ashley, you have some tough competition tonight. I mean, Darius has lost 48%, almost half his body weight. But I can see just by looking at you, you are definitely in it. You want to beat those boys. Are you proud? I'm very proud of myself. I love every minute of this. I'm so happy. Good for you. Well, let's get you on that scale and see how you did. When you started this competition, you weighed 374 pounds. In order to beat Darius, you need to have lost more than 181 pounds. Ashley. Your current weight is. Michael, the heaviest contestant we've ever had. He is the only player to ever weigh over 500 pounds. He started this competition at 526 pounds. And he has overcome some pretty big obstacles to be standing here tonight. Take a look. I would never even think in my worst nightmares that I would be this big. I don't know how you're carrying all this weight every single day, Michael. We've got to get your life back, because this is not a life to live. I need to get rid of this weight once and for all. I'm going to do it. Definitely. Watch me, America. <laughs> You've lost 109 pounds in seven weeks. It's a new record. As I'm pushing forward and losing the weight and getting, getting to where I, I need to be and I want to be and I dream about being, I'm feeling proud of myself, which is not a familiar feeling. When you're 526 pounds, all the hurt is slowly going away because every day I'm waking up with happiness. You are the first person in Biggest Loser history to lose 200 pounds on campus. I can take all those times that I failed and just put it behind me and say, okay, I gave it my all and I did it the right way this time and it worked. Michael! What's with the flower? This is for my number one inspiration and motivation. This is for my mom. Well, I love you. You look beautiful. Michael, it is down to you and Ashley. You guys walked together for 26.2 miles during a marathon. Did you ever think you'd be squaring off for a quarter of a million dollars in the title of The Biggest Loser? You never know. With, with us two, you never know. <laughs> Michael, how does it feel to be facing off against Ashley? It's an honor, because this, this is a, one of the strongest women I've ever met in my life. Strong and beautiful. Well, only friend. one person can get the title of the biggest loser, win a quarter of a million dollars. Ashley has set the bar very high. Her total percentage of weight loss is 48.93%, almost half of her body weight. And Michael, you started off at 526. <laughs> I don't need to tell you that. So in order to beat Ashley, in order to win the biggest loser, 
and win a quarter of a million dollars, you need to have lost, I can't believe I'm about to say this, more than 257 pounds. And we are about to find out if you did it. Michael, right after this. Coming up, the winner of a quarter of a million dollars and the title of The Biggest Loser. And now, the final weigh-in of the night. The Biggest Loser is live from Hollywood. All right, Michael. Ashley, this is it. It all comes down to this moment. Either you or Ashley are going to win the grand prize of a quarter of a million dollars and the title of The Biggest Loser. And I can't believe it has come this far. You started off 526 pounds. Michael, Ashley, you started out as the heaviest woman this season. And now we are down to the two of you squaring <laughs> off for the prize. Michael, 526. I mean, Bob, come on, you gotta admit, what did that feel like? And now seeing him stand here. I mean, this is what The Biggest Loser is all about. To see these guys standing up here. I mean, Michael is half the man that he was. I mean, look at him. And Ashley, Darius, I mean, they're all just winners right now. And that's exactly what it comes down to, Bob. Half the man. Ashley lost 48.93%. You're going to have to do a little bit better than that, oh. Michael. If you want to win, you need to have lost more than 257 pounds. Michael, get on that scale. When you started this competition, you weighed 526 pounds. If you have lost 257, you will smash Danny Cahill's record, and you will have lost more than half your body weight. We got to see if you did it. Your current weight is... Tuesday night at 10, 9 central for the premiere of Losing It with Jillian Michaels. Good night.